So my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Freedom Sworn Sword with Kazuha. I'm not going to read all this to you, this is a very large amount of text, just know if you hold E and then plunge, you are going to be able to trigger it, that's exactly how it works, and what essentially we're going to get is normal charge and plunging attack damage by 16%, increases attack by 20%. If you don't have a other Millennial Movement weapon, you get both buffs, if you're using other Millennial Movement buffs, you only get the 16% normal charge and plunging attack damage. This sword is super good, and I'm going to showcase exactly why with Xiao. We're going to run one domain. I'm just going to put Zhongli's shield on and let you see Xiao's damage. And then we're going to use Kazuha, and you'll be able to see Zhongli's shield plus Xiao's damage there. Plus a Kazuha swirl, so you guys get a very good idea of exactly how much damage it deals. It is a very, very cracked weapon. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's do it. We're going to boo-boo. 42, 42. That was a low plunge. We're not going to count that. 44, 44, you get the idea. So we're at 42, 44, somewhere in that, somewhere in that range is exactly where we're at. So we're going to generate energy now for Shao. All right, we have our ult back, so we're going to go ahead and restart to the domain, and then we're going to look at the difference. Um, as far as I know, it's additive, the bonus damage dealt, so it's pretty good. It's really, really, really good at R5. Um, it gives you a little bit of a damage bonus increase. Uh, it does make a very big difference whenever you're dealing large amounts of damage. So the higher damage you deal, the more this is going to do. It's it's pretty good in my opinion. I think this sword is really, really slept on. I think this sword is cracked. But then again, everyone's going to have their own opinion. So that's just mine. So let's activate the sword buff. We have the sword buff active, so now let's start plunging. You can see 48k, 53k there, but I think that was a good swirl. Nah, we had some more 53ks there. 59k, 52k. The 52k is more the number you want to be looking at. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Um, if you're curious about food, you're curious about cuts or anything like that, the only food I had active, plus we had Shao kicking up the Homa buff there towards the end, you gotta keep that in mind, keep in mind all the buffs active. The only food I had active here was, uh, Delicious Pollen Up, just for more consistency with crits, I upped the crit by 20%, which puts Shao at a perfect 101% crit rate, letting us fully test everything he does. So right now with Homa active, he's not exactly the best shoe case, but you saw the damage before the Homa active and you got to see exactly how much of a damage bonus it is. It's a pretty significant damage bonus whenever you're getting up there, especially for Shao. Um, it's pretty strong. And yeah, that's basically it. Just wanted to showcase the weapon to you guys, showcase exactly how strong it is. I think this weapon is very, very, very cracked. Um, I think I'm in the minority with that, but just from play testing it, just from using it a little bit, playing around with it, I think the Freedom Sworn Sword is probably, like, one of the better support weapons total. Um, it's definitely, if you're collecting all the Millennial Movement pieces, it's definitely a must-have because Millennial Movement, obviously. But other than that, I want to remind you guys, one, the weapon banner is rough to summon on. The weapon banner is super rough to summon on, so be very, very careful summoning there. Other than that really good weapon thank you all for watching as always hopefully this helped some of you guys make your mind whether you wanted the sword or not um i'll be using it more on kazuha i'll be moving it to gene i'll be moving it to Singcho, doing some more testing on it in the future but just wanted to give you guys this quick little my thoughts video on it and showcase it and showcase exactly how much of a difference it could be so yeah thank you all for watching as always let me know what you guys think about this weapon in the comment section below are you guys even summoning for it or you just want to see what it is Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.